Dear everyone who's wondering when we're going to release the white iPhone 4. We aren't going to, because we're fucking with you, okay? There is no white iPhone 4. There never was. I mean, yeah, we made a couple prototypes, but it was never intended to go into production. Look it, Apple makes such amazing products, and we get the press whipped up so well that we can announce a product that we have absolutely no intention to ever make, and you assholes will happily talk about it for six months with absolutely no further contact from us. You give us so much free advertising, and you do so, so willingly, that it doesn't matter anymore if there's a product behind it. I don't respect any of you, and I enjoy batting at you like you're diseased mice. I hate you. Also, I want to say one small thing about Android. It's not a threat to iOS. I hate Eric Schmidt so much that I want to grind up his bones and use him for paper mache, and Google lies about their subscriber numbers all the time, but they're no threat to me. I'm not concerned about them at all. Did you know that the electricity Google uses to compile new Android releases comes from the blood of thousands of puppies being shoved into a hydroelectric dam? It's true. And sad. But mostly true. Seriously, I'm not worried about them at all. Obviously. The first rule of advertising is that you never compare yourself to your competitor if you're in a better position than them in the marketplace. Gives them free press and only serves to make you look petty. Google doesn't even understand what the word open means. Can you believe that? They think it has something to do with tuna salad. They're idiots. I don't talk about Google or Android ever because I'm so confident in the quality and the performance of our iOS products. I've never even mentioned them publicly. Did you know that every single employee of Google suffers from mental retardation? The white iPhone 4 takes up space that journalists and bloggers would otherwise be using to write about Android. So, yes, the fake phone stops people from talking about Android, which keeps people from knowing about Android, which keeps people from buying Android. But it's not like we need that help. We're doing fine. Google's a week away from canceling Android anyway because they have, like, four users worldwide. You can look that shit up because it's true. People are saying the white iPhone is delayed because I'm not satisfied that the two shades of white on the thing aren't identical. I certainly hope so the whole Howard Hughes mystique I've got going on, but it's total crap. I'm a visionary businessman, but I'm not insane. Postponing a phone so much that you're functionally canceling it because there are two shades of white on the thing, each so similar that no human being could notice the difference, not even me, is insane. Like, clinically insane. I, unlike Eric Schmidt, I'm not insane. I, unlike Eric Schmidt, am not a total cock, which is why I'm able to invent imaginary products that dominate the news headlines for months, while Google can't even find a fifth user for Android, not even a Google, which is full of people Google pays for. What's really great about me is that I can stand here and admit all this to you, but you'll still talk about the white iPhone 4 like it exists. You'll still talk about it in print and online, and you'll speculate endlessly about when it'll be released, and about whether I'm being so incredibly smart and clever that this is all part of some super double psych-out designed to get the competition to get lazy so we can release the most amazing phone ever and blind everybody. It's amazing! So in conclusion, the white iPhone 4 doesn't exist. But that doesn't matter. Also, Sergey Brand is trying to make it with your wife right now. You probably want to call the police. Uh -huh.